He knew it was her, he told me. He told me this a year after he saw her. Exactly a year, he said. Exactly a year. That's what I said, Davy. A year ago, yesterday. You remember the date? I do, yeah. Jesus, Joe. He saw her at the end of a corridor and he knew, immediately. She was exactly the same even from that far off, even though she was only a shape, a dark, slim shape, a silhouette in the centre of the late afternoon light that filled the glass door behind her. She was never slim, I said. He shrugged. I don't even know what slim means, really, he said. He smiled. Same here, I said. I just said it, he said. The ward. She was a tall shape, instead. Okay. Not a roundy shape. She's aged well, I said. That's what you're telling me. I am, he said. And she has. Where was the corridor, I asked him. The school, he said. What school? The school, he said again. We didn't know her in school, I said. I knew he didn't mean the school we'd both gone to. We'd known each other that long. I'd said it, that we hadn't known her in school, to try to get him to be himself, to give back an answer that would get us laughing. He was the funny one. My kid's school, he said. Hang on, I said. It was a parent-teacher meeting. Yeah. The woman of your dreams stepped out of the sun and into a parent-teacher meeting. Yep. Thirty years after the last time you saw her, I said. More, actually. Way more. Thirty-six or seven years. Yeah, he said. That's it, more or less. What did you say there? That she stepped out of the sun? I think so, yeah. Well, that's it, he said. That's what happened. She did. I didn't live in Ireland. I went over to Dublin three or four times a year to see my father. I used to bring my family, but in more recent years I'd travelled alone. The kids were grown up and gone, and my wife, Faye, didn't like flying. And she wasn't keen on the drive to Hollyhead and the ferry. Your dad never liked me, so he didn't. He did. He did not, she said. He thought I was a slut. He said it sure. He didn't say that. More or less he did. You told me that yourself, remember? I'm not making it up. He never liked me. So I won't be going around pretending I like him. I hate that house. It's miserable. She kissed me, Joe said now. In the school? The man I knew, I thought I knew, I used to know, would have answered, no, in the arse, or something like that. Yes, he said. She remembered me. I didn't know Joe well. I used to. We left school for good on the same day. He got work, I went to college, to UCD. He had money, wages, a salary. I had none until after I'd graduated, but we kept in touch. We both lived at home, a ten-minute walk from each other. We listened to records in my house about once a week in the front room. He bought most of the records. Mine was the house where we could blast them out. We played them so loud we could put our hands on the window glass and feel the song we were hearing. My mother was dead and my father didn't seem to mind. He told me years later he just wanted to see me happy. He endured the noise, the pistols, Ian Jury, the clash, Elvis Costello, because he thought it made me happy.